you think that your candidate will be voted for at this upcoming elections, bearing in mind that the same APC has been in government from 2015 to now? And uh, when we take a look at the macroeconomic situation, the numbers aren't looking pretty. Mm. Why do you think that Nigerians will still vote for an APC presidential candidate? Well, I think, I think first of all, I think there seems to be, uh, you know, some sort of um, belief within the elite world that this administration has not done well, which is not true. Which is absolutely untrue. Um, I think in the last three to four decades or more, there's never been an administration that have crafted and created programs and opportunities for people at the grassroots, like the government of Muhammad Buhari had done. And people for the first time have felt empowered, not for the first time of course, but to the larger extent this time around have felt empowered through different intervention programs that have come through uh, in different ways. And I think uh, um, uh, we have done that in a way that, and in a scale and magnitude that is really, really big and, uh, and, and massive. So I don't think it's as bad as the elite world like to talk about, that, uh, that it's really bad. The numbers may not be good because the numbers are not looking good everywhere else in the world. I think there has been a complete meltdown, economic meltdown across all across the globe, uh, beginning from the you know pandemic, uh, the fall in oil prices, the uh, uh, you know when we're trying to recover, when the world was trying to recover, we got into another war that is not yet a full scale. <laughs> World War Three, but you know, f to a large extent, in terms of global supplies of so many things, uh, you know, it has gotten really bad. Countries in Europe and some parts of America are finding it difficult to find common stuff at, at, at grocery stores and department stores and stuff like that. And those are elite countries that you can mention that their economies are super economies. So it's not we're not we're, it's not isolated. Nigeria is not in isolation in that. I think the numbers have grown bad in the last couple of few years all across the world. And if you look at how we have fared compared to other world, to other countries that you know are either in similar situation like we are or have some developing economy and uh, have the same matrix like we have, um, we have not done extremely badly, you know, 